Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. And I'm Matt. On today's episode, we're talking about very old St. Nick and their 12-year-old bourbon release. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button, click that notification bell. Matt, what do you want to tell me about this uh, particular very old St. Nick? All right. We got another very old St. Nick here from our <clears throat> buddy Galen Evans. Very old St. Nick, another lovely Santa Claus here. The antique barrel, 12-year-old. Mm. Now, their whole thing rare and antique and old apparently they're very confused 12 and 8 are not old just let you guys know not old but whatever anyway this was ooh, 45.1 percent yay slightly higher batch two all right let's hope this is better than the rye because that was not good neither one of us were fans of the rye oh this smells way better well this Thank is God. yeah this is more down the home plate of Kentucky smells like bourbon, bourbon. Caramel, butterscotch, toffee, yeah. vanilla, honey, barrel char, oak. I mean, it smells nice like and nice and uh, a thick layer of char in there. This like smells yeah. like an alligator char. Cinnamon, clove, new leather, mm. a little bit of orange and cherry, plums, dates. This smells really good. I'm hoping that the palate is as good as this nose is. Yeah, it's almost a burnt honey into molasses. Yeah, this this reminds me of once again it, it's Kentucky source. We don't know where from. It smells like Barton. It smells like seventeen ninety two. I think it smells like Barton. That's what I was gonna say. It's like it doesn't smell like any of the other guy. It smells like Barton. Yeah, which more than likely who's sourcing stuff right now that age is Barton anyway. So more than likely Barton. Well, okay. Well, we just had seventeen ninety two night on a on one of our Monday live yeah. streams recently, and this to me is it just floods me with those memories it smells a lot like it yeah all right so let's see hopefully this palette is better how much is 1792 in the 40 dollar range 26 dollars mm -hmm. okay. this is also 200 dollars mm. mm. oh the cra okay so the crazy part is on both of this one and the rye i was looking today to see what the prices are today mm. he bought these are from 2019 i saw some of these things going for over a grand I was like, what? Now, granted, there's the liquor stores oh. online. My guess is this is the reason they're still available is because we experienced with the rye. Yeah. Hmm. This is a well, little bit this is a little this bit is, nicer on the palate. Again, you can taste every bit of the that oak in that age. Yeah. The the you new can. oak tannin or the new oak with, with that amount of time, it is very, very oaky, very, very heavy. Um, I would like to try the cast strain version of this. This is kind of watery. Yeah, it's very, it's it's thin. It's a weak caramel. Like I, like the nose is really the nose is really good. The palate it's kind of like this weak watery caramel butterscotch vanilla black pepper. I'm not getting any of the cherry. Leather. No, it's just it's super watery. I'm getting more of the leather, more of the um, more of the oils. The finish is basically nah. non-existent. Right. Like it's black pepper and then and it's dead for like two seconds max. Yeah. A little cinnamon on the finish. Maybe a little bit of like vanilla bean cream. But most like it says that heavy oak barrel char finish. Mm -hmm. But nothing that's like, oh, that's amazing. It's just kind of meh. No, I, I'd call this tannins for days. The nose is much better than the palate, which unfortunately with whiskey, the palate's the most important part. Can nose this for a while, but drinking it, mm, unfortunately, right direction, not price wise. Also, oh. yeah, no, water no, is terrible. And the, and the, the drop of water did not do it justice. Mm. Well, is, it tells me that they they dialed in the proof right, mm. but no, it's a plus at least. No, the drop of water just kind of fractured everything. Okay. Well, I, the finish goes on for a little bit longer. That's a plus, at least. Yeah, I'd be very disappointed with my purchase at two hundred, Matt. Yeah, I still think this is like mm. forty bucks. Yeah, I'd be happy at thirty-five. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd give you much more than that. Yeah, I don't know that I'd buy a bottle at more than forty or at more than thirty-five. Now, so the problem is they're trying to basically, you know, facilitate the their own distillery by hoisting these. Na old name brand labels on you from this old person who used to work for the Van Winkles, except for the fact that it's not Van Winkle stuff. It's just other stuff. 
and it's an old brand that's supposed to be good. It's not. So I'd like to try one that's good. So far, unfortunately, these two, not a win. No. But, uh, we do appreciate it, Galen, but... Yeah, I mean, being able to try these uh, is is really, really wonderful. We really appreciate the ability Absolutely. to... Absolutely. We always deserve a review, good or bad. They should right. always deserve a review. That's right. But, uh, hey, and we like most whiskey. This just, these two have not been, uh, we're not fans of. Honestly, with this one, with, with the rye, I'm not a fan of. I wouldn't no. pay $3, I wouldn't this pay $3 is, this for that. Fine. Like, someone gave, gave this to you as far as a drink. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's a fine bourbon. Right. It's just not, for the price point, it's just not worth the price point. There's nothing wrong with this bourbon. It's just not worth the money. Yeah. The the rye that we tasted, I wouldn't pay $3 for a second bottle of that. With this one, you know, I would pay $30 for a second bottle of this, right? Like, yeah. so it's not unserviceable. It's not undrinkable. It's just right. way too expensive for my, exactly. my you know, for exactly. what it is. But wow. thanks to wonderful fans that hit that like and subscribe button before we get to taste this amazing, bo- this bottle of whiskey. Mm-hmm. So or this amazingly priced bottle of whiskey, I should call it. That's true too. Until next time, keep on crusading for whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Suppose there's some other ones that are good, but they're like 600. I'm like, no. Oh, Jesus. Pass. Well, if I paid 200 for this nasty piece of shit, I'm sure the fuck not going to pay 600 for... Probably worth 100. Right.